In this video, I will show you how to insert and delete columns and rows using the Python library Excel Wings. On the right, you can see the testing document we will be working with. It contains two columns and nine rows. I'll be using the API from Excel Wings to demonstrate how to delete columns and rows. And because we'll be using Excel Wings, I am able to demonstrate this with the workbook open and we can see the changes occur in real time. Here you can see that I've already started by opening the test workbook using the book function, and I've selected sheet one, the sheet to our right. To start out, let's add a single row. I am able to accomplish this by accessing a number of different attributes and functions on the worksheet object. First, I call the range function of the worksheet object and pass it two tuples that represent locations. The first tuple contains seven and one, with seven representing the row and one representing the column. The second tuple contains the number seven again, so the same row as the first tuple, but a different value for the column. It's the column attribute of the last cells in all of the cells in the worksheet. That's how you can read this attribute hierarchy. Let's print this out and see what that value is. You can see it is an extremely large number, 16,384. This is actually the last column of the workbook. So we are capturing with this the entire range of the first to last column of that seventh row. We now access the API attribute of the range function, which lets us have direct access to the Excel interface. Finally, all I must do is call the insert function of that API. Executing the cell, we can see that I successfully inserted a row at the seventh row's location. If I wanted to remove the empty row that I just created, I use the delete method instead of insert. You can see the rest of the code is exactly the same as the above cell. Executing the cell, we can see that the empty row that I just inserted at row seven has now been removed. If I wanted to insert multiple rows of data, the only piece of the code I need to change is the first tuple's row location. You can see that I am now starting at row four and ending at row seven. The column arguments remain the same. Executing it, you can see four rows have now been inserted. And as you might have guessed, I just need to switch the insert method to the delete method to remove the selection of rows on the workbook that I just created. Moving to columns, the code, as you might expect, is going to look very similar. You can see that all I've done here to work with columns is adjust the tuples I'm passing in the range function. You'll also notice that I'm looking for rows of the last cells in the cells attribute of the worksheet. Printing this out, we can see that it is a value over 1 million. This number is the last row in the entire workbook. So within this range function, the first tuple contains row 1, column 2, and the second tuple contains the last row and column 2. This will insert a new row at our second column's location. And just as we did before, if we want to delete a column, we just need to substitute out the insert method for the delete method. To add multiple columns, just follow the same pattern as how we accomplish the same action for the rows. You just need to modify the columns location of the tuples. This cell has inserted three columns. And finally, to delete the columns, you just need to flip insert to delete. And that's all there is to it. To insert or delete columns or rows, you first access the range function of the worksheet, passing that function tuples containing the appropriate locations you are inserting or deleting. Then access the range's API attribute. Following that, choose whether you are inserting or deleting with the appropriate method selection. Thank you for stopping by and checking out this video on inserting and deleting columns and rows using the Python library Excel Wings. Please let me know if this was a helpful video in the comments below. Let me know what other features of Excel Wings or Python in general you would like to see reviewed in future videos. 
also give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and found it useful. It does help other people find this content and hit subscribe so that you can know when the next video drops.